In this video, I'm going to show you how I make the videos for my Facebook ad campaigns. Now, for me, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, but a lot of the techniques I'm going to be showing here will apply if using DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, After Effects even. Um, I don't know if iMovie, everything will work out fine, um, but pretty much any video software. And if, if you don't have one, um, DaVinci Resolve has a free plan that should be able to do everything you can do in Premiere. But of course... Um, You'll have to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve. So, anyways, uh, let's just let's dive right into Premiere Pro. So, if you've never seen this before, you know, don't worry too much. Um, generally, this is the preview area. Um, this is the timeline. Think of it as like a DAW where you make music. This is instead of audio files, you have video and audio files, and this is kind of like your preview. <laughs> now, over here, I have a little project created where I just have a music video and I have a Spotify logo, and we're just gonna make the type of ad that I would normally do. Um, and there's a few variants on this ad, like the footage in the ad, and actually, let me just show you one right now. So that was just one example of an ad. The actual footage you put in there can vary greatly depending on you, your creative style, the videos you have. Um, I'm just gonna be using a music video that I made for one of my songs, Fire. Um, so what I'm gonna do in Premiere, I'm gonna right click this footage and make a new sequence from this clip. And it's gonna think. So now I have my footage in here and I got the music video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna make my video vertical. So if you're not working in Premiere, you'll have to figure out how you can make your timeline. Like right here, it's horizontal or like a normal kind of thing. Um, you know, 16 by nine, that way. But I don't want that. So I'm gonna right click this, go to sequence settings. And I want it to be 19, I want it to be 1080 wide by 1920 tall, which is like story size vertical. Um, that's cool. So now it's vertical. So I can shrink this. And I'm going to kind of eyeball this. I think I want this to be roughly a square. Eh, that's a little rectangle. I think that looks good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this up. Something you should be able to do in any, any of these editors. I'm going to make a copy. I did that by holding... Well, my keyboard says Windows because I'm using a dual Mac and Windows keyboard, but um, I think it's Alt. You just drag and, and make a copy of it. So I have a copy here. I'm going to expand this up to fill up the whole background. And then I'm going to apply a blur effect to the background. So I'm just going to type in Gauss for Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur that background a lot. And You'll see why I make the videos vertical when we get to Facebook ads. So I'm going to show you how I crop it on Facebook. Technically, you can make multiple size video ads and upload them all to Facebook. I like to make one size and um, just crop it on Facebook. <laughs> um, so if I keep that, that looks pretty good. Um, next, I think we're going to add the Spotify thing. And I'll just drag this out for now. So I'm gonna shrink this. And by the way, if you're wondering where I get the logos and stuff, um, I'll put a link to the like the official Spotify place to grab the logo. Um, it comes in different colors, it comes in different types. So um, I think I'm using the, the full logo green. I mean, you can see it, it's, full, it's a full logo and it's green. So I'm just gonna drag it there. I'm gonna click T to get some text. I'm just gonna write, listen on. Very simple. <laughs> now you, you can play around with this, feel free to get creative. Um, you know, we shouldn't all be doing the exact same ads, but you, you know, there's a lot of freedom you could you could have. You could be like, stream this on Spotify, or whatever. So he, here I'm just lining this up by eye. Um, that looks pretty good. Cool. All right. So um, essentially, like I have the ad. Like if I click play for a little bit, I don't know how deafening this is going to be. So I'm just going to go here and turn this volume down a lot, so it's not deafening. <laughs> So yeah, like it's it's a music video. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I like the ad, obviously, because I, you know, I made it and I made the video. Um, but now it's just for the whole thing. Now, I really just want a 15 second chunk. So you would try to find 
you know, usually I would recommend multiple ads and I'm just going to find one here, but ideally you would make several of these. And the way to do this is now this, that this is extended across, I can like, oh yeah, it was right there. So I'm just going to click Q, cut everything before that. And then drag this to 15 seconds, we'll back a frame by clicking left and command K or control K will cut. Again, if you're not on Adobe Premiere, um, it's gonna be different. Now, if I highlight this audio and do Command Shift D, it adds a little fade at the beginning and end. Sweet, and that's that's our first ad. Now, you could spice this up a little bit. Like I can click on, um, let's see, I could go right here and I could automate the scale and position and then so that's on beat go back three frames and you, this is going to make sense in a sec i promise i'm going to scale this up i'm going to go back to that original frame and scale it up and just kind of move it a little bit or something like something like that and now i'm actually going to put this above the Spotify and listen on. So see what effect this has. So the timing's off a little bit there, but I think you, you get the idea. Like <laughs> I can shrink in and um, I think I just need to move this over like literally a frame or two. It's a little off, but you, you get the idea. Like I'm trying to just make the intro of it a little more interesting. So there's some motion. So, you know, hopefully the person scrolling sees it and they're like, oh, oh sweet, this looks really cool. Let me actually listen to this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to Facebook ads so I can show you how to like crop this and run this on all the placements. It was a very important step after a message from this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The reason why I picked this video to be the sponsor video for Skillshare is because I think it's very relevant to the active video creation. They have a ton of courses for Adobe Premiere Pro, but they also have a bunch of courses for essentially every single other video editing software you, you could possibly imagine. So if there's a particular video editing software you wanna to learn to run your ads, to make your music videos, there's a whole bunch of courses at Skillshare that can take you in the right direction. Now another really cool thing, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So you can try it, see if it's for you, learn a bunch of stuff, and if you enjoy it, keep going and keep learning those skills. Um, learning new stuff is incredibly important, to, you know, if you're being a music artist because we kind of have to wear a million hats. Um, and so sites like Skillshare uh, can, be, can be very helpful to learn how to do each of those little hats you have to do along the way, especially if you're doing it on your own. Anyways, let's go back to the video and to Facebook ads. All right, so now we are in Facebook ads and I just made an empty ad. You know, you, you create your campaign the, the normal way, which check out, this is my most recent video on how to make a campaign. We are going to, I'm gonna delete this video because I need to show you how to add a video. That's kind of the whole point of this, this section here. So I'm gonna do add media, add video. And it's gonna load. And I'm just gonna pick one of the, um, one video that's relatively similar to this. So this is the kind of the same format of the ad we just made, um, except this one was with a still image. So instead of using a video, like when we did it in Premiere, we used a video and I animated the size of the video and I, I positioned a certain way. This ad is the same thing except with an image. So I'm just gonna click play. Actually, I'll just overlay it and show you this ad. That's the ad. Obviously in this case, I, I put the word pre-save because I was doing some testing with pre-save campaigns, but by the way, pretty much a waste of time unless you have a really large budget. Um, so, but you know, we said, listen now. So. Um, you see here we get this error, add undeliverable to Instagram feed. And this is where the whole cropping thing that I mentioned comes into play. We made our video to look great in a vertical placement. Um, but if you size it correctly, what you can do is you can click this edit group button on feeds and in-stream videos. You can go to crop four by five and you'll see your ad looks pretty solid. Like this is the preview for what the ad will look like after it's cropped. You could do one by one, 
Um, and then here I actually size it as a square. So like it perfectly just cuts this out. In this case, this would be boring because it'd just be a still image. But if you had a video here, that might look really cool. It kind of is your preference if you want to keep the, you know, listen on Spotify thing. And you could design your out different ways if you don't like the kind of like background at the top and the bottom. You can design your ad around that. You know, it's it's totally, totally up to you um, how you do this. But what I do is I design the video as this vertical, but I design it in a way that when I crop it, it doesn't look horrible. And I've seen a lot of people mess this up where they um, they have, <laughs> they design this video that looks great on stories. It says swipe up on it. The problem is when they run that ad on feeds, it still says swipe up. And it's, if you swipe up on an ad in a feed placement, that essentially is the same, same thing as skipping that at right you're scrolling past it so um you know keep in mind it, one thing you can do and actually this probably would be good to show you if you want to just design like a square video for feeds or four by five for feeds and then a vertical for stories you could make a separate video and just click change instead and upload a new video for this instead so some people prefer to design all their ads one by one i'm lazy so i just do crop call it a day and for me this is how i've been doing it for two years <laughs> something like that and so it's it's never really let me down um i don't think you know designing your ads custom things that's great but um at the end of the day i don't think it's going to make the, the biggest difference in the world comparing to just testing different parts of your song and different video styles um you know this is a completely different type of ad than the first video i showed you and that we actually made in adobe premiere Pro. So if you want to learn more about how I actually run my Facebook ad campaigns, I do have this playlist right here full of a bunch of awesome videos that'll help you through that process. And if you're also interested, I do have a fully organized course that's that's right here that I actually just added a whole bunch of new content to um, called Spotify Growth Machine. It's also linked in the description if you're interested. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.